Well, that's Mark the video. Thought I'd do a quick one. It's bucketing down with rain. No, it's just been rain, so we're all wet now. We didn't get the bulkhead painted um, because that'll have to be done another day when we've got paint. But what we did do is we got all the seals in the doors all lined up. We've got new handles in. And I must admit, I think I've put the, the bump, uh, burst proof handles in the wrong way. The reason is because I've got the lock in and, and it's supposed to kind of spring back, but this one, you know, lift it up. It, I mean, it does work. I just don't think it's quite right. So if anyone's got any ideas on that, that's how I've put it on. And on this side, it's kind of, but it catches on, on it catches on the inside there. The handle seems like it's too close to the door there. And I don't know if you've got these washers on the wrong side and they're supposed to be spacers and they pull the handle back a bit or I've done something wrong. But anyway, it does work and it locks and the barrel's in and everything. The new door's on and it's painted and the seals are in and it's the old fashioned seal where it sits to the, the seam. And then when we took the uh, the bottom bracket, we're putting the seat belts on as well. And when we took the bottom bracket off, the bit of the seat box is rotten. So we had to, well, Andrew's manufactured a piece in there to bolt in and secure the seat belt mount. And then we put the, the door lock on as well, which is what, that's the one that doesn't catch your trousers. <laughs> it's got the little guard on it. So, because the notorious, when it was just this bit, the old fashioned type, this bit would pull your bloody belt loop on your trousers. Every time you climb in the blooming truck, it would pull your belt loop off your, off your jeans. So we've got the roll, well, I say roll cage, it isn't a roll cage, it's actually a seat belt mount on the back. So we've got the seat belt mount and we've got one working, this one works. That she's all there and done and she's on an inertia reel, which is good. Um, however, on the other side, I'm missing this bracket here. So if, you, if you've got one of these brackets, I'll be grateful. It's just this L-shaped bracket, two pins in there, then a quite a sturdy seat belt mount, bound, seat belt mount bolt uh, in that one. That would be fantastic if you got one of them. And of course, new receptors in as well, new catches in. So they're all uh, sturdy. So it's pretty good. The seats are inside at the moment, so I haven't got the seats on. Now I'm running the other side. Oh, blooming, that, that's what it doesn't do. So I've got to push the handle down to make sure it's fully down so it doesn't spring down. And then I can shut it. Oh, it sounds like a Porsche. It's fantastic. That, that's brilliant. That chuffed a bit to that. So that door's all done so far. And then what I've done around the back, we've bolted in the, whoops, all the light guards are bolted in as well. Uh, I was a bit disappointed there because you have to bolt, you have to put a couple of bolts in your blooming panel there, which is a bit of a bugger, but never mind. I suppose that's how you have to do it. So they're all bolted in. And then around this side, um, that one of course is bolted in. I've done the other side as well. So that's bolted in all nice and solid. Give that a tap, so all nice and solid in there. And then this seat belt mount is done. Now it's, it is working, it is on the inertia, but we're missing the bracket down there. I don't know where we've put it. We're missing the bracket to fit it to the uh, the two posts. So if you've got one of them, I'll buy it off you if, you if you've got one. And you can post it, of course. And then on this side, we've gone with the old fashioned step. So we'll put the step on. With the, oh, and she springs down beautifully, there we go. Now on this side, the seals, uh, I, know, I know what's wrong. What I've done is I should loosen that sill off because I didn't pop rivet these in. I actually bolted this seal in because it's like a lip seal and then it's a flat bit that that um, it normally pop rivets to the edge of the uh, slam panel. Well, I suppose it's called a slam panel. I've bolted it so it's solid, but actually the bolt, because I haven't loosened that up, it's creased just underneath there and that's what's raising it a bit. So what I'm going to do is loosen this off, get it sat behind and that should straighten that up with a bit of luck. But that's, oh my God, you have to do it with your foot. <laughs> so steps on brilliantly. We'll put the step on the other side. It started bucketing down, so we stopped for tonight because working in the rain is not fun at all. So that's our Land Rover so far. It's looking blooming marvellous now. So next job is the lights, the heater box. We'll put the lights on the front, heater box in, spray the bulkhead and put the seats in, put the sound dead in, in, in the cab and then take it for an MOT. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Right, if, you've got, if you're doing up a Land Rover and you've gone through a bit of a trauma, give us a shout if you haven't and you're enjoying it and loving it, comment in the comments below. My name's Mark. Speak to you soon.